Well, good morning to each one of you. It is our privilege and our joy to share with you in this morning's moment, and uh, we're grateful to be able to share. It's one of those in and out moments. Um, let me pray first before I get going. Let me pray first before I get going. Oh, Father, thank you for allowing us to breathe into this moment with a devotion unto you in the midst of parenting responsibilities and sharing in that parenting with grandchildren. And because of these times, we're grateful to be able to slide in and slide out with an informal formality because it's necessary during this pandemic. Speak thou now into these moments that uh, our press shall include you for because of you we can get a best from the press to give us our rest <laughs> and uh, to release our praise and thanks unto you. So hear our prayer, incline thine ear unto us and grant us thy peace. In the name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord we pray, amen and thank God. I'm coming to you <laughs> while on one side, our nine-year-old, Raina, who is here with us, is attentive with her grandmother, my dear wife, and uh, Noel, our seven-month-year-old granddaughter, is taking one of these sleeping moments, which lasts <laughs> about 10 minutes. So I just, I'm, I'm seizing, I'm seizing these, this moment right here um, to release our morning devotion um, uh, as this, this significant moment. Um, uh, has a momentous and sizable proportion of thanksgiving in it unto God. From John chapter 8, verse 58, it says, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was I am before Abraham was I am so Jesus clearly reveals himself to any who would receive him as the long expected one whom God himself had promised so what is the promise that is before you that God has spoken personally into your life and out of that speaking something from him about your life is going to be achieved. It's going to be part of the reward system for those who would enter into his presence because that's all he wants. <laughs> he wants a moment that can change your life and to break away from what is important to share who is important so that when you go back 
to those moments. Uh, the important piece of yourself can be imparted to who you have responsibility for. I have, along with my wife, responsibility for our two granddaughters. So that's important to us. It is important to their dad. It's important to their mom uh, because they've entrusted it to us. That's part of the I am statement that Jesus imparts in John 8, 58. Uh, since he is our I am, he always will be who we need and what we need. That can only be achieved from the him in him. His hymnness, who he is, receives greater revelation for our lives as we go through this pandemic. And for those of the Philadelphia Fellowship, for those who received a treatise from us, bridging the wealth gap and creating temple talk, temple talk, talk from I am and I am talking back into our lives. It's part of a subscription program that the Lord has dropped in our spirit that he can be glorified in the midst of a pandemic and glorifying him will plant seeds of hope and expectation because the pandemic has a time period to it. But our Lord is timeless. And since we're going to come out of this pandemic, we want to come with a greater relationship with our Lord. Since he is, I am. He always will be who and who, who's knocking at the door, who is keeping us in his hand, who is providing. And because of him as who, he shall be the what. What is it now that we have that he has seen fit to make available unto us because we saw fit to take some free moments and impregnate those few moments with the practice of his presence. That's what worship is. He is totally complete, altogether awesome. Nothing will escape his I amness. Jesus said to them, truly, truly, <laughs> truly, truly. Before Abraham was born, before Raina was born, before Noel was born, they are my true, they are my two grandchildren, ours, my wife and I. His I amness was predominant and shall be predominant as a result. Part of my morning um, is surrounded with the significance of his saving grace. His saving grace is momentously highlighted in his broken body and his shed blood. So I want to take I am with me all day 
uh, in a sense now I want him to impact my life so significantly that my flesh must be overcome by his so I break now that in which represents his body and I put it in forms where I can consume it that it can become a part of my death digestion system and he followed the molecules all over my body so all that is within me will be able to bless his holy name this is my body he says which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me so all day long, y'all, let's keep him on our minds. Hmm. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and all the people of God said, Amen and Amen. But not only that, um, but while we're in this uh, pandemic is a result of um, this virus that overwhelms, takes control of your respiratory system. Well, Jesus, while they're waiting on a vaccine, I believe becomes the greatest vaccine what he did at Calvary uh, is our point of vaccination <laughs> that into our circulatory system he's released something <sighs> he released his blood and from the crown of our head where there are veins to the sole of our feet, a part of the irrigation of this circula circulatory system allows his blood to flow all over us and all in us. What a promise. What a reality of his I amness at work in our lives. This is the new covenant I'm renewing on this 18th day flow in you as you allow me to flow in you, in me, in us, in our ups, in our downs, in our realizations, and in our hopes, our dreams, and our aspirations. We renew our covenant with the Lord Christ even now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and all the people of God said, Amen, and bless the Lord. Jesus, on this 17th day, is our I am. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my sister. I hope the next time I come to share, if I don't have both of my granddaughters, I have at least one of them as we expose them <laughs> in the reality of his presence. It's I am. God bless y'all. Thank you for allowing us to share these impregnating moments.